Good morning, everybody. How are you this morning? It's Thursday morning, 7.29 a.m. Slept in a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, make some coffee with me this morning. Uh-oh, wrong button. <laughs> oh, did I put, I didn't put the water in. I don't want to burn up my teapot. I like to just cap it off for the day. And this will be my water over on my desk. I got a drink. The one that's over, finish the one that's over there first. I'll just set that right there. So I think I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try some. The Colombian today. So I'm going to get a different coffee cup. I want to say about the same amount of liquid goes in there because this one is a lot thinner. Like I could probably fit this one inside that one. Nope. <laughs> no. It looks like when I look down like this, it looks like it. So I would definitely need a longer spoon as well. Changing my mind already today. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, water, heat up, please. I got my creamer yesterday. I'm so excited. The uh, International Delight sweet cream. The Cold Stone sweet cream. I really love that. I love this stuff so much. And so we're going to try Star Rewards. Hmm. Uh, Columbia. You know what else I got in here? I think because I got these pieces, and two of the pieces are the Pike Place one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one. Piecing it together. <laughs> um, what? I thought I had. I swore I put three in here. That's so weird. I'm going to look back because I like three directly. Two Pike Place and one Columbia. Yeah, how odd, huh? Weird. Yeah, I'm sure it's me. I probably used it and didn't think about it. I must have used it in. I thought, probably thought I was using this one. Now I'm going to mix those two together. Get rid of these little Happies. I'm scared. I'm scared. It might not be a very good cup of coffee. How much is in here? There's not a lot in here. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. There. It's done. It's done. So, I'm going to be taping some cooking videos today. And uh, some cleaning videos today, which, yeah, right? Yeah. I can reuse this one for sure. Just have a couple of packets in it. See if I could declutter my. Look what else I bought. I could not help myself. These are the crumb donuts, but they're made by the bakery. I wonder, do they just take other, like the packet, and put a couple of packs in there and call it, call it good? I don't know. I don't know. They probably get it in bulk. Just fill those containers. It's coconut crunch mini donuts. Huh. I didn't know the crumb was coconut. So much stuff on that little shelf that I'm afraid it's gonna collapse. <laughs> it's not, but yeah, it seems like it's it's not very sturdy to begin with. It's very old already. I think we bought. I think we got that for my dog, my oldest daughter's uh, bedroom when she was like 11. She'll be 38 on her next birthday. No wait, she'll be 39. 
Really? 39? Or no, wait, 38. Babe. What? How old will Andrea be in April of 2023? Our daughter's going to be 39. And damn, we're getting old. Let's see, I had her at 20. Yeah. Yeah, she'll, yeah, she'll be 39. Wow. 28. Well, next year. Oh, 27 in December. And then, okay, yeah. That December birthday gets me every time. Got to go through the whole year before you. Get your birthday. Ah, a little more of this and a little more of that. A little more of this and a little more of that. See if I can make it. It's good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this one's going to fly. It's pretty strong. Too much coffee in there, I'm sure. Wow. Tell you what this tastes like. Actually, I'll show you what this tastes like. This right here, I'm not sure I'm gonna even touch it anymore. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This tastes like this. You know, you have the perfect cup of coffee. If you, if you drink your coffee black, it's different because you're just gonna get coffee. But if you put cream and sugar in your coffee, and it tastes like sugar or it tastes like coffee it's not right so this is not too dark not too light not too sweet not too bitter not too strong not too weak it literally tastes like this you should try it sometime i'm just just slightly off but it's very very close i'm just gonna slightly put a little slight more I want it to be perfect. Let's see. Now it's, it's looking a little dark. I probably should just be using the half and half with no sweetener in it, but I think if I can achieve. Oh, yeah. That was the ticket right there. So, that's my opinion about coffee. I love coffee, don't get me wrong. However, it's not, I, I don't think it's necessarily the coffee that I, I love because coffee creamer, right? Like, I, I doctor it up to taste like nothing. So do I really like coffee? I don't know, I've been drinking it a lot of years. I started drinking coffee when I was probably about 14, I think, 14 or 15. And then I asked myself, why are you only 5'1"? Why, why are you so short? Well, coffee does stunt the growth, so. But who knows? I don't know about any of that stuff. Oh, man, that is a good cup of coffee today. I, I've been struggling for a couple of days to get a good cup of coffee. And I don't know why I do that. It's got to be my taste buds. I'm thinking it's the candida that I have to keep battling on a continuous basis. Take care of yourselves because this you don't want the shit that I got. Like, I was rough on my body. I was rough and tough. Like, honestly. And, and wasn't scared about it. So, yeah. I, I was pretty brutal with my body. Um, I didn't really necessarily drink a lot of alcohol in my life. So I was I would say that alcohol, that's not even a part of it. I've, I've been drunk, gosh, probably maybe five times in my life. I got really drunk on my 50th birthday. Really, really drunk. I haven't drank since. I've had like little shots of, you know, um, Bailey's over ice for Christmas. I'll have one of those. 
not, nothing that gets me drunk or anything, but um, I don't think I can do that this year because of my medicine. I don't know. I might just do it anyways. So I haven't really drank since I was 50. I haven't been drunk since I was 50, so it's been almost 10 years, 9 years. It's been 9 years. Now, my husband, on the other hand, <laughs> Babe, do you remember when you got drunk last year? Drunk last year? Yeah. What? What? Not last year? It wasn't last year? Why? Was it really? I'll have to look back because I have it on film and it's dated, so I'll look back. Babe, 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 listen. I bought you that Jameson two Christmases ago. So not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. I bought the Baileys and the Jameson the same day. It was more than three years ago, right? No. Yeah, no? You look up the video. I look up my video. We're disagreeing on the date. <laughs> this is our argument. This is how we argue. <laughs> we don't argue. I don't think we fight about much anything anymore. So weird. Well, you know, I, I think I can blame it on the car accident. Can't I, babe? Sure. Sure? On what other accident? On us fighting. Yes. Okay. Because we never fought before that, I don't think. I mean, little tiny little things. Nothing to write home about. So for the most part, we don't argue. If we disagree and we continue to disagree, then we just call it good. We're going to agree to disagree on that one issue, you know. We're not going to always look this at issues the same. You know what? Sorry about that. Gosh, that's better, right? See that thing on my... That is not a scar. That's a shadow because my skin is sagging. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, I'm almost 60. Oh, I just, well, I'll be, oh. I am like only seven months away from being 60, so. Yeah, I'm almost 59 and a half. You know, I think when you're young, the halves matter. I also think when you're old, the house matters. So I'll be 16, I'll be 59 and a half December 24th. On Christmas Eve, I will turn exactly 59 and a half years old. Because my birthday is June 24th. And if you want to know if I like it, absolutely, it's the best day of the year to have a birthday. Are you kidding? Like, you're out of school, so when you're a kid and in school, no school. You're you're in summer on June 24th. The only downfall to that is um, some of the friends couldn't come because they were out on vacation already, stuff like that. But I never, never ever bothered. I and I only had a few birthdays parties. I don't recall really having birthday parties so much. I was an awkward child, though. You know, I was being seen, seen and not heard. So when my when my dad said that. Children should be seen and not heard. I thought that's what I wa was supposed to do. Like, oh, okay, I didn't know kids should be seen and not heard, so let me shut the fuck up and I won't talk no more. And I didn't for a very long time. So when I was a child and somebody said something to me, I took it literally. I was very gullible. Like, I would believe it. And I didn't understand about lying and truth and this and that. Like, anything anybody said, I believed every single thing. There's not one thing that I went, oh, come on, that's not true. No, I didn't. I never said that because I believed everything. I was a very gullible child. But I, was, I had a learning language disability. I was in special classes. Um, so I just... No, I didn't learn very quickly. I started to learn quicker 
in junior high and high school. But elementary school, I just bubbled my way through it. And what I mean by bubbled my way through it, I was in a bubble. I was in my own little bubble. I never really paid attention to stuff outside my bubble. I had, I had a few friends, yeah, no, no big deal. But I think in sixth grade is when I started learning that people lie. Like, it took me a lot of years to, to understand that people lie. And then, of course, it made me angry. So then I was kind of starting some fights on the playground a little bit in sixth grade, seventh grade. And then I was like, oh, right, that's, you can't do that either. You, you can't be angry. So I just went back in my bubble. After, you know, I just back in my bubble. Anyways, I got myself out of the rut. Um, somebody said to me, you know, your learning language disability isn't doesn't have to be a disability. If you read the newspaper front to back, word for word, you'll grow out of this. So I did, and I did, and I excelled. I went to college and I got counting degree, then I went back and got a math degree. But I, I took I took some photography classes. I loved it. Get a camera and a roll of film and go out and click off. Then you got to go into the classroom and develop that roll of film into the dark room and that was amazing. It really was. I had so much fun. So, and then I took a 